Foxy 99, the big stick inside of Ugly Radio with Ugly's brother Radio G Money. Man, I told you, I, I might have told you, I'm pretty sure I told you that we had a big interview for today. And right now, we have a brother on the phone that does not need an introduction, but I'm going to give him an introduction anyway, because why not? You know what I'm saying? You know him as Money Mike. You know him as a pimp named Slipback. You know him as Lord Have Mercy. You know him as Darren in School Days. He has multiple, multiple Netflix specials. He is. He is the man. He is on tour. And he's about to speak to you right now. His name is Cat Williams. Cat, how you doing, my brother? Doing fine, sir. I appreciate that attempt at an intro. That was pretty damn good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, man. My my PD told me that that uh, I guess he might have interviewed you one time. And he didn't really have much to say, and you called him out on it. So, so I had to make sure that I had had a little bit going here. You know what I'm saying? First of all, that's hilarious and sounds exactly like me. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely real. So look, man, this Friday you are going to be making your return to the Carolinas. You're coming to the capital city, Raleigh. PNC Arena for the World War III tour, man. Yo, I could just tell you, we are happy to have you back in the Carolinas, man. It is great to have you. Man, see, that's the that's the real relationship. The real relationship is that Cadillac relationship is the fact that it did it didn't start any time recently. You know what I mean? Like Carolina was supporting me when I was media feel like home and allows you to do your craft, you know what I mean? So to come through that in all of the different uh, financial categories on your way up, that's why you never leave PNC off of a good tour, you know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. So the name of the tour is the World War Three Tour. I would love to know why you chose that name specifically for this tour. Oh, I didn't. I oh. didn't. The ops chose it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. it, is, it. It is what the ops says it is. Right? Oh, okay. I got you. I got yeah. you. Yeah. So spiritually, metaphorically, physically, that's really what the time is. And we try to, um, we don't have to come up with names for tours. Um, each tour is in their own time. And as we all know, <clears throat> it's things that we laugh about and discuss and talk about these days that were never laughed about or talked about on this planet before. Like, they can act like normal stuff is happening, but abnormal is what's happening. Um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a crossroad between the lie and the truth, the real and the not. Mm. And, um, you know, for hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of years, it keeps getting pushed back. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. But it's here. And so it's just a blessing for me um, to be able to uh, create a super team uh, yes. that comedically cannot be defeated. Uh, just one of those straight to the playoff teams. And uh, to be able to assemble of that and to marry that with the greatest audience uh, in American stand up comedy is just a privilege. And like I said, then you get to cherry pick these great places and only go to the places that you love, that love you back. And um, that's how we end up at Raleigh and PSC, and it'll be the perfect storm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And speaking of that super team, man, you have Jen Thomas. You've got Lou Nell. Hold on. You, oh, I'm Hold sorry. On. I'm Hold sorry. On. Hold on. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. Is that the start? You named two female comics, and you, you, you named one of the greatest young and the greatest uh, veteran. Like, that is crazy. You mean on one lineup? Yikes. Well, that takes care of the female side. Keep going. I'm sorry that bothered you. Next, you'll be telling me you got Mark Curry as shooting guard. What? Next, you'll be telling me you got Red Red as small forward. Next, you'll be telling me you got Zoo Man Miller shooting three. My God. You mean you follow all of that with Raggedy Ass Cat Williams? Yikes. I wouldn't want to miss it. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do. Bro, <laughs> this comedy team, look, this comedy team, this is the 72 and 10 Bulls team. This is the 73 and hey. 9 Warriors team, except hey. they're going to win the championship. They've this never is... seen nothing like it. This is looking down the lane and seeing Russ coming down the lane in a full dress. <laughs> 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 you might not have been dunked on like this before. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 
that's um, that's how it feels to the competition. That's how it needs to feel. But more, it's about the fans that um, honestly, whatever a ticket price is, you deserve double what the ticket price is. You deserve that, and um, it's just an honor for us to be able to bring it and to be able to compile uh, one of those rooted to the two the lineups where you know as soon as you come in and sit down, you're laughing until you leave, and that's the end of that discussion. Um, and so we're just very thankful to be able to to come through PNC real quick. Man, that yeah, that is a that is a fire lineup, man. And that's exactly man. what we need around now. We need some some good laughter, man, because the times right now, man, it's you you turn man. on the news, it's depressing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like every time you yeah. look around, somebody's upset about something. Is this, we could definitely use just a, some time to chill and enjoy ourselves and laugh. And so we definitely appreciate this. Well, you know, getting hit with one bullet is already its own set of problems. But when you're getting hit with a barrage of bullets, it means that there's no safety in ducking or jumping or moving out the way. It means it's just coming. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. And because that's how the op plays with us, that's how we have to play back as well. So that's kind of the World War Three part is the fact that um, we as the downtrodden, we as the oppressed, at some point in history, it's on us to do something, not on somebody else to do something. You know what I mean? Yes, like, sir. Yes, sir. We've, all, we've, all, we've already paid the cost, and now there's something that has to happen after that. And uh, that's the superhero time that we're on. Uh, it's a conversation that can only take place with the best people in the city, and that's why we're so honored to be able to get them together all in one place at one time. And um, laughter has been the best medicine for thousands of years. We don't get the credit for it. But as the practitioners of that, it's just an honor and a joy to be able to come and um, and, and be in that same venue with that energy again we didn't know if we were gonna make it out the pandemic man look we we was up uh, when we first heard I, well, I know when i first heard about the show i was like man I, I hope the show continues with the way they shutting things down man so i'm glad to know that that you guys are still going to be able to come through so i'm i'm wondering so you're on the world war three tour how many more dates after this do you have as far as cities and stuff when you say when you say this you mean raleigh yeah, yeah. A- yes, yes, sir. After Raleigh. Oh, just like 94. <laughs> they need little, bit, these little bitty baby boy comics. You know, they do, <laughs> they do 20 city tours. I put out my first 20 cities. They was like, where's the rest of the city? This is one and fifth, people. I can't put it all on one folks. So you know what it is. That's you what I'm talking about. No. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I know your last your last Netflix special was The Great America. And I'm yes. wondering, are you going to be recording this for are you using some of this for a new special or is that is that coming up anytime soon or, or anything like that? Oh, yeah. The deal was done before we started. Oh, oh. like we we, we actually I, I, we filmed we filmed in January. and We were prepared to release that. Mm. This is now this is now beyond that. Yeah, that's the. That's the true glory of God is um, is it takes them to think that you're dead to stop beating you, and that's where your growth happens. And by the time they turn around to see the possum, you're standing up right with the flex on. You understand? Yes, this sir. is really <laughs> this is the Daniel and the lion's den. This is the World War Three that we're discussing right here. Good Lord. That's, what I'm, that's like number five or six, I believe. Five or six specials. He's killing them right no. now. Is that what you're thinking? No, I'm, I'm, oh, no, 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 no. Most comedy specials of any comedian breathing are dead, sir. We don't have to, we don't have to get held up on the uh, logistics of it. All. <laughs> yeah, no, simply the greatest. Flex on, my brother. About. Flex on. <laughs> Flex oh, on. Because, I'm not mad. Only because this is his best work. Yes. Not, not the five specials mm-hmm. before Pimp Chronicles or the four after. Not. Not not keeping count. Not the last <laughs> one was just, not that part. Just the fi- fact that he wrote everything that he says, he owns everything that he sold you, mm. that this is still the same guy having the same conversation, and you remember when this dude came to you first. Mm. And now this dude is 100 years old, and this dude is still towing this line. You follow what I'm saying? These days, they think OG means you've been doing it a long time. No, you've been sucking a long time. You can't be an OG like that. This is original gangster. The word original is first, not old. 
<laughs> Boy. But we come to show. We come to show. That's what I'm talking about. Look, I, I love it. I I love this fire. I love this passion. I love hearing it, man. Hey, we yeah. had a whole we had a whole pandemic that could have been funny on TikTok and we wouldn't have minded. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't have been mad if somebody had us rolling through the pandemic on IG, and that's where they did their stand-up comedy shine. Mm. But in truth, it happens on them stages across the country, and yeah. it takes the best comedians and the best audience. That is the only marriage. Anything else is ready for divorce. So we don't want to flex the strength of our relationship, but we are relationship goals comedically. And, um, again, this is why you've been coming to Raleigh 20 years you know what I mean? Man, that's <laughs> super legit. Super legit, right. man. <laughs> so, look, I, I know we, we don't have so much time. I, I understand. Uh, I know you just you just had a just had a movie, Meet the Blacks 2, The House Next Door. When that dropped in June, I believe that was, what, number one grossing comedy at the time. It was the number one independent film as well, man. So just much, much congratulations to you and, and everybody you work with. Like, you just killing the game, man. So, well, you know how when you were going to strip club and you might throw up a stack of money, yeah, and that, that's a part of the tithe that you pay to the community. You understand that that part? Yeah. So, it's kind of like that. Yes, sir. You know, certain <laughs> tithes got to be paid. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking. Look, wait, wait. Yeah. Hold on, cat. In case, wait, wait. What? Let's say, let's just say somebody just happened to be in a coma for the past oh, 20 years, right? They just happened to wake right. up. They, they went to sleep in 2000. They they woke up in 2020, 2021, and they're like, damn, I would really like to laugh. They may have never heard of Cat Williams. I don't know how that's possible, but they never heard of Cat Williams. If they have never seen a Cat Williams show, what should they expect this Friday in Raleigh? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way that you can actually be surprised is if you don't expect anything and then you get everything. But this is comedy. This is honest discourse. So yes, these are comedians who do this. So the entire show, every comedian is not a, a carbon copy of some other comedians, and they're all using these jokes and think like this and say these things. These are individuals. This is the real Mark Curry. Yeah. This is the, the real original bad girl of comedy, Linnell. Mm -hmm. This is the real Red Grant. This mm -hmm. is the real Zoo Miller. This is the real Jen Thomas. You feel what I'm saying? This is the actual Cat Williams. You you might not agree with anything Cat Williams says or what he does, any of that. But you won't be able to say you heard somebody else do it. See, mm -hmm. that's the whole originator part is we set these trends that happen later. We acknowledge these things that are happening. And some of us remember, even if you were in that coma 19 years ago, the comedian Cat Williams was the one talking about climate change when it was just him and Al Gore. Mm. And Cat Williams, the comedian, was the one having a conversation with his audiences <clears throat> five years after that about where did winter go? Have y'all noticed that stuff is not the same? As, you know what I'm saying? These are the real conversations that we are having. Right. Immediately. So you don't have to be prepared for our show. Our show is based on real people who are on the same side of the flag as you, not nationwide, person-wise. Right. right. There's a difference. Everybody is not the same. We are not all equal. Our ops are not like us. So they do their things, they have their conventions, they have their shows, they have their discourse, they share information. That's what makes them a, a solid unit. And we have to do the same on our side. Comedically, this is our version of that. Mm. That's you legit. made me say too much. You're a great interview. <laughs> <laughs> the people are lucky to have you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Look, it's going down this Friday. PNC Arena in Raleigh. Look. The show starts at 8. If you don't have your tickets, I don't even know what to tell you after this, man. But look, Kat, please give them your social media in case or, or anything, websites, all that good stuff that they can keep up with you after the show, before the show, anytime around the show. Yeah, you can hit me up at G-Money. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hit me up at MichaelBlackson.com. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it'll be great to see everybody out there. Can't wait. 
um, the one thing that I know for a fact that Raleigh has over cities that have double the people, um, the women in Raleigh <laughs> are a special breed. That's mm. as much as I'm at liberty to say. <laughs> uh, I would just say that a lot of cities have the women that are um, good outside. Um, <laughs> And Raleigh has women that are good on both sides of the door, and that's all I have to say about that. (laughs) And I can't wait to be uh, to smell the estrogen of Raleigh and get there and uh, and soak it in. That's all I can say. (laughs) Yes, sir. Man, look, look, man, thank you so much for calling in. Thank we appreciate you. you. We're definitely going to be at the show on Friday. It is going down the World War Three Tour PNC Arena in Raleigh. Show starts at 8, but you got to be there at 6 just in case, man. I'm just telling you. <laughs> yeah. no, it's funny you said that. I was going to say, yeah, but we, um, right, it's our 16th tour, so we're not on no time but the real time. <laughs> That's real. Yeah. Yes, sir. So a problem. Yeah, thank you so much, Cat. We appreciate you. Thank you, sir.